<laughs> I am terrible at this. I am awful. Big thanks to Pimax for sending out the Pimax Crystal Light for us to check out today. And spoiler alert, there is no comparing the visual fidelity of this thing to the Quest 3. So in this video, we're gonna talk about me using this instead of my Quest 3 for once, and who this is for, and how you might enjoy it. Welcome back to The Construct. The Pimax Crystal Light has a lot to offer with its QLED mini LED panels, its display port connectivity for low latency, and let's not forget it's packing almost twice as many pixels as the Quest 3 with the 2880 by 2880 resolution. Before we get started, 2880 by 2880 per eye is a lot of pixels. So if you're thinking about picking up something like this, think about the specs on your rig because it's like plugging up a really, really big monitor to your graphics card. So I recently upgraded my rig and I land about right here on Pimax's recommendations. So if you're anything below that, you will have to adjust some of the settings in game, maybe even lower the resolution. So you might not actually benefit from all of the beautiful pixel density in this headset if your rig can't keep up. But if it does, what are you getting with the Pimax Crystal Light, especially when it compares to what you might already have like the Quest 3? One of the more obvious comparisons is that this is a pure PC VR device. It is strictly PC VR. There's a cable here attached to the back that plugs into your PC. It branches off into two connections. One is a display port, one is USB A 3.0, and then there's even a power connection that connects to the wall. So the Pimax Crystal Light is completely dedicated of getting all of the visual fidelity from your PC to your headset. That's it. The controllers clearly resemble the Quest 2 controllers with the tracking ring around the top here. But one of the things that I really liked about these controllers is that there is a Pimax button and a menu button here, but they're on both controllers. So if you're covered up in VR, you don't have to pick the right controller just to be able to hit the right button. It's actually pretty clever. There's a volume rocker on the top as well as a sleep wake button that just turns off the displays and an IPD adjustment on the left side. It's rocking four tracking cameras on the outside, two on the edges at the top and two on the bottom. These cameras are just for inside out tracking. There's no mixed reality here. You can see here it's the old school black and white kind of pass through just so you can find something when you're in VR. The audio, sadly to say, is just okay here without the extension that you can add on to this audio solution. The audio comes out of this little slot here. And you can see it's just kind of like a plastic hole. And unfortunately it sounds like it's coming out of a plastic hole. There is a little bit of software on here to help with setting up boundaries and choosing between what you can see in the headset, but there's not much. It's really all using your PC as the main driver. The software that runs alongside the Pimax Crystal Lite is called Pimax Play, and there are a lot of options here to manipulate everything that has to do with the headset. And once you install that, there's everything from guides to micro adjustments to the IPD, resetting the service and rebooting the headset remotely. There's a lot packed into this application. And obviously the Crystal Light works with Steam and I was worried about how I would actually launch my Oculus games or meta games. There is a launcher baked into Pimax Play that allows you to do just that. So obviously, needless to say, the Pimax headsets are huge. And the first thing that you wonder is, is this thing going to be just massive and excruciating on my head. Well, fortunately, this is mostly plastic. Everything except for the visual units on the inside is plastic, so it's not quite that heavy. It's about 812 grams, so it's a little bit heavier than the Quest, but not by much. The top head strap comes with it, so most of the weight is carried by that, and then clamping this down on your head just kind of seals the deal. If adjusted right, you can really sit still with this on your head for a very long time. But sit still is the key point in that statement. You don't really want to move around a lot with this. The Pimax Crystal Light just kind of sits on top of your head and there's a lot of gap in here. It kind of wiggles a little bit if you move too much and there's really nothing to clamp it down a little bit harder on your head, no matter how tight you squeeze the tile back here. So with that, I wouldn't necessarily use this for a sports game or any type of game like that in VR. It's just not designed for that. 
but don't count out the crystal light for gaming. This crispy display with deep blacks, it just really shines in gameplay. And to be honest, the tether just doesn't bother me that much. So check this out. Here's some gameplay of me playing some Half-Life Alex, and you'll see for yourself. Okay, I wanna show you this scene in Alex, mainly because of all of the contrast here. Now I had to change a few settings in Pimax Play because the blacks looked way too crushed, but like right now, that looks completely black in that corner. And the pops of color in the sky just look absolutely amazing. But this particular scene in Alex, first parts of captivity with the antlions, it's a perfect place to take a look at just how rich the colors look here in the Pimax crystal. Here we go. Ah. I suck. All right. Yeah, just <laughs> the contrast of the explosions looks so good. Playing this with the increased clarity just makes it almost feel like a new game. Ah. Back up, back up. There we go. Got two. Woo. That looks amazing. Got a few more here. So yeah, I mean, the pops of color, everything just looks a little bit better than it did on the Quest when I played this through. I'll admit, I did play through Alex on the Quest 2 the first time, so this is dramatically different from that. Something else I was really shocked to see, whenever I saw photos of Pimax's headsets, I was always wondering why there was just this raw foam for the facial interface, but turns out it's not actually raw foam. If you look closely here, it's a microfiber kind of smooth material and it feels kind of nice. Now, it does not feel so great if you start to sweat. So if you're like kind of like a hot headed person, it's not gonna feel that great because it is it is fabric, it's not like wipeable. But I was pleased to see that it wasn't just raw foam. One negative that kind of stands out was the tracking. I think I'm a little bit spoiled by the tracking in the Quest 3. The tracking isn't bad on the Pimax Crystal Light, but you can tell it's not quite as far along as the Quest. If you have the right lighting in your room, like the light right now is probably okay, but if you have too many light sources or you have a lot of windows, you can just tell that the tracking on the Crystal Light is trying to hunt for a location to, to rest. So that unfortunately results in a little bit of shaking when you play. So even if you're standing still, you kind of see a little bit of shaking either in the headset or the controllers. But you can see in this clip in Half-Life Alex, when my lights were dimmed all the way down in this room, I didn't have all of the light coming in through the windows, it was at night. You can see the shaking that's happening here. But I did test it in optimal conditions. You can see here in Onward, I'm getting a little bit of shake, but I am not losing any ability to aim or anything like that. It's so subtle, you can't even see it in this recording. So I hope Pimax is, making progress and improving the inside out tracking. I wasn't going to get a lighthouse just to test this with because I do have to send this headset back. Next, let's talk a little bit about barrel distortion. I almost freaked out and panicked and worried that I would not be able to use this headset when I first put it on. There is some barrel distortion that's caused by the shape of the lenses. You can see here when I run my hand across the reflection in the lens, you can see how my finger kind of bows out or goes convex or concave, you can see a little bit of that through the lens. It almost makes you feel like you're always standing on a, on a hill or you're always looking at a slope. So if I was looking at a box on the screen, it would be curved at the bottom, for example. But it is all adjustable. So it comes down to getting this to fit just right 
and getting the lenses to sit right in front of your eyes to make sure you don't see any distortion. You can literally move the headset up and down and see that distortion kind of bend and move, find the right spot and then clamp it down to make sure you don't see it as much. And in addition to that, there are some micro adjustments you can make in the Pimax Play application. I was able to tweak this to the point where I really can't see the distortion anymore. The barrel distortion was really the only problem I found with the lenses. They look clear from edge to edge and they are razor sharp. It's almost like looking directly at the geometry in the game. You don't feel like there's any glass or screen door in between you and what you're viewing. The field of view is considerably wider. Now it's not the complete width of the outside of the headset. It's tempting to think that that's how wide the the headset will allow you to see. It is a bit wider than the Quest 3. I'm gonna put a graphic up here so you can see what it looks like, because saying degrees, it just really doesn't help. But the biggest difference is that, like in the Quest 3, it's almost like you're looking through like ski goggles or you see kind of a sphere around your eyes. In the Pimax Crystal Light, it's more of like a giant window and it's pushed out to the sides where you see so much more of the game. So much so that in Half-Life Alex, when you put the a respirator mask over your face, you usually lose that on the Quest 3. You don't actually see it. But when playing Half-Life Alex on the Crystal Light, I can see the mask was on my face because the field, the vertical field of view was that much wider that I could actually see that much more of the game. So field of view has some serious practical applications as well. So I was nervous about trying a sim with my rig. I have a 4070 Ti Super, so I'm in pretty good shape. But Pimax Play actually gives you some options to set up fixed foveated rendering. I went with the Pimax Central Priority Rendering and it worked out pretty good. Take a look at this still. You can see the vent over here and the text is really pixelated, but you can see my view in the driver's seat is super clear. So let's hop over to Assetto Corsa, and here's some raw first reactions of me trying out a racing sim with the Pimax Crystal Light for the first time. Wow, this is nuts. Like, the amount of detail, I can see like the rays of the sun. This is crazy. Wow. All right, let's get going here. Let's see if we can get some driving. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, ah, how am I supposed to see around the sun? That is crazy. Oh, I can move my head a little bit lower and see past it. Oh, wow. I can definitely see why people do this. I have to be honest, I am not someone who would have signed up for a racing sim. Don't laugh at my driving abilities here, by the way. But with this clarity and just the ability to look around the cockpit here, like I can see out the windows. I'm finally driving away from the sun and I can see where I'm going. But I can see why people would do this. I mean, this is so amazingly clear. Wow. You wouldn't want to have to deal with like screen door effect or not being able to see absolutely everything. I know draw distance would be, oh, went off the track there. Draw distance would be up to your rig and the power of your PC, but you don't want to be looking at something like this through like foggy low res lenses. This is wild. So Pimax, you have convinced me to get a racing wheel. I'm gonna put you on the line with my wife so you can explain what you've done there. But <laughs> this is awesome. So final thoughts, the Pimax Crystal Light is an amazing headset, especially if you're that type of person who really wants to seek as much clarity they can out of their VR experience. And the Pimax Play app, it gives you so many things to tweak and kind of adjust. It's, it's really up your alley if you really want something to tailor make your experience. Now, I have to be honest, I am going to miss not having the clarity that I got out of the Crystal Light once I have to send this back. 
So that's saying something. If you want to try this out for yourself, there are some links and stuff in the description and a slight discount if you use my code. And if you want to see more content just like this, consider subscribing and we'll see you here next time in The Construct. Peace.